Hi everyone, Mr. Silva here, and this PowerPoint presentation will cover the research project for my computer applications and business one class. So as you may recall, before spring break, I asked you to start thinking about this project and some of you started working on your research. Um, but because of what's happened recently in the interest of saving time, I've decided to make the project a solo project and no longer make it a group project. So in this case, um, instead of presenting it live in front of people, you would present it either in a Zoom session, which is what we're currently hoping for, or if you feel more comfortable where you record yourself giving the presentation, you, we can arrange that as well. So your research task, the topic's the same here. What do you think is an issue facing students? Some sample topics include bullying, food, cafeteria food, um, dress codes, homework, social media, you can choose your own. Be creative here if you don't like any of the topics I've provided. And if you have any questions or can't think of one or just, you know, want to say, hey, Mr. Zilla, what do you think about this? I'm more than happy to answer those questions for you. So here's the outline of the project. First, you need to do some research. Uh, you need three resources and you need to take notes. Your notes will be turned into me. Next, you're going to put all of your notes together and arrange your project. This is just a sample outline of how your PowerPoint could go. This is not 100% how you may do it. This is just a guide to help you out. You would have a title slide where you would introduce your topic, your who's presenting it, and then my name because this is a part of my class. You would have an introduction slide where you introduce about introduce your topic and you tell us about it. You give her the background about it. Then you include a problem slide where you tell us where it's a problem, a solution slide. How do you think it could be solved and give some ways to solve it? Then you would end with a call to action. What would happen if it's not solved? And why is it important that we act now and solve it? And then you can end with a question slide where if you have questions from the audience. And please know when I say slide, I don't necessarily mean one. It could be more than one. You may find that your problem slide needs to take two slides. Or if you have solutions, you might do a slide for each solution. But regardless, you need to have research embedded throughout, meaning that you use the research that you do for this project and you need to put it throughout your project. So for your notes, you'll need to create notes pages. And this is very simple. I don't want anything too complicated. Um, if you have Microsoft Word on your computer, you could just make a simple Word document and then you type down or type all of your notes. If you don't have Microsoft Word on your computer, you can use Enmodo. And if you go into Enmodo and then go into your library, it's at the top of the page where it says library. And then you would click new and Word document, give it a name, and you would start typing your notes. And you uh, could also handwrite your notes and type them if you want to. It might be easier if you want to write them down first before you type them. Or you can turn them into me by taking a picture if you want to handwrite them, but more about that in a minute. You must also include the name of your resource, the title and the web address. You can't just say Google is your resource. You can't just put the web address. You need to put the actual title of the page. You'll turn your notes into me each week. There'll be a Dropbox in Edmodo. You have one note page due a week. So this is going to be three weeks of just taking notes. Okay. So your research needs to be from approved websites. We talked a lot about the Florida Electronic Library, flelibrary.com. Please, please, please continue to use this. If you have questions about it, ask me. If you do use an article in FLE Library, all you need to do is list the article name and the author. Um, I highly recommend that you get most of your sources from Florida Electronic Library because all of it is going to be good information from people who know what they're talking about. You can also do a Google search. Um, however, don't just use random websites. It's more preferred that you find websites that have .org or .edu. You know how at the end it will say .com. I'm looking more for .org or .edu websites. Please check and make sure. Last week, uh, during our digital citizenship unit, we talked about how to find good resources. So looking back at those notes um, will help you here. Do not give your do not get any information from a website that has opinions and no research shared. Please make sure that it has like 
where they got their information from and things of that nature. Don't just pull a random site um, because you, you, it was number one in the list on Google. Make sure you actually take your time and find good quality uh, resources for this project. And then after the research, you'll put it all together, but we'll talk about that in a few weeks. Here's the timeline. Um, so for the week of April 13th, that's this week, you're going to complete the form declaring your topic that's going to be on my webpage, and then you'll turn in your first note page into Edmodo. Next week, you'll do the second note page, and then the following week, you'll do the third note page. On May, the week of May 4th, now, this is assuming that we are still distance learning. If we do go back to school, the same stuff will occur. Um, you'll just have time in class to do it. But if we are still out of school, we'll still follow the same guidelines. I'm prepared for either way. But for the week of May 4th, it'll be your synthesis work week, and that's where you'll put everything together in your PowerPoint. And then the following week, all of your presentation will be due. So you essentially have two weeks to do your presentation and assemble it. After that, we'll talk about the tips and tricks of presenting, especially presenting virtually. And then the week of May 18th, we'll start doing live presentations. All right, that's it for this topic. Stay tuned for more information about this project.